Oh my gosh, imposter syndrome sucks. Hello, creatives. Today we're talking about imposter syndrome. Yeah, it just means doubting yourself. Everybody doubts themselves, but no, no, no. Imposter syndrome is worse than that. It doesn't just make you doubt yourself, which is vague. It doesn't mean anything. It makes you doubt your ability, every single thing you've accomplished, who you are, whether you're even a creative or you're fooling yourself, whether or not your pieces were just flukes. Imposter syndrome destroys everything. If creativity is a path and behind you is each project you've done or tried to do a cairn, a memorial pile of stones to show how far you've come, imposter syndrome basically pulls a wily e. coyote and puts up a screen that has a picture of the desert and the road and hides your accomplishments. So when you look back, it looks like you've accomplished nothing. I don't know why we have imposter syndrome, but we do. And the really important thing to remember is it's baloney. It's absolute nonsense. So there's this TikToker, Danny Phantom EXE, very funny, worth watching. They did a TikTok about imposter syndrome that basically it's all right. You want to face imposter syndrome? You want to face up your own brain that's telling you everything you have ever done is a lie? Instead, embrace it. Somehow you fooled people into thinking that you made something good. You still got a job. You still got an education. You still made that thing. You still made friends. Somehow, people still enjoy what you made, which means you fooled them all. Heck, I'm linking that thing down in the description. It's worth watching. They were doing it tongue-in-cheek, but you know what? They're right. Imposter syndrome cannot be true or else you are the greatest con artist that ever existed since the beginning of time. When imposter syndrome raises its ugly head and tries to tell you that no, you're not any good, you're fooling yourself, the pieces that you completed were flukes, face it down. If calling it a liar doesn't work, then start to embrace it because then you can laugh because you know you're not the best con artist that the world has ever seen. So if you've had something that anybody liked, even just you, then you're not an imposter and you actually are an artist. Face down imposter syndrome with me. Sit down today and make something new, even if it's tiny, even if it's messy. Create something new and punch imposter syndrome in the face. I'll see you tomorrow.